today we are going to Bukit Timah. The reason why we're driving there is because there's two landed properties that are not completed yet. So these are detached properties. Halfway in construction right now, so the expected TOP is slightly towards the end of this year in 2021. Yeah, so we'll bring you to District 11. This particular plot is located at Marine Road. The developer is rebuilding these two detached homes that is sitting slightly on an elevated land. A very, very, very unique design. I think the architecture is fantastic. So it's being done by ABN Holdings. Plus architects are from Mark 12. And what they're going to do is that they are going to design these two detached houses. The first in Singapore, and they're going to use the actual glass bricks on which Apparently, it's stronger than the normal red bricks and these glass bricks are currently being used at the boutique in Hermes, Amsterdam and this is going to be the first in Singapore because nobody has done the glass brick before in uh, the landed property design and apparently, there's going to be like seven to 8,000 different glass bricks that we'll be using at the front of the house and this is going to bring in brightness. It's going to, at the same time, look so beautiful outside because the reflection is going to look so great. So the moment you drive by, there's no way you will miss these this two houses something apparently is also that the land plots are pretty good size so there are two plots plot number one is about 4,400 plus square feet because on land built up is about 7,007 thereabouts we will head back to our studio later to share a few more specifics on the floor plan and our plot two is made out of 5,080 square feet for the land and the build out is about 8,000 plus square feet so both have five bedrooms they are freehold status two and a half story both plots allows you to park three cars. Plot 1, the one that is 4,004 square feet for land has a pool at the side. Plot 2, there is 5,000 square feet has no pool but it has a basement. So one has a pool but no basement. One has no pool but have basement. So basically it's up to you to see which one is more needed for your family. Is it the pool or is it the basement? And do you need the bigger or the smaller? So the smaller land is asking for 11.8 million. Larger one is at 12.8 million. And we're driving in right now to the D11 Bukitima zone and this particular plot is located in between Botanic MRT Station and Stevens Road MRT Station and as everybody know now Bukitima is served by the downtown line so it's extremely convenient even if you stay in a freehold landed plot here you can take the public transport outside and so it serves a lot of needs especially Bukitima are all flush with some of the most prestigious schools in Singapore. Yeah, so a lot of families, they relocate inward towards D11. is of course, not just of the good locale, but because of the schools as well. So for property members, we have arrangement with the developers to feature these two new landed plots. As you can see right now, they're still currently in the construction phase. They will go through piling and then constructing the two and a half story. So it will be a two plus attic. And as we head back, we will show you exact details of every level, the floor plan, some of the key features of the place. And they are using a lot of good appliances, fittings and fixtures for the house itself. Nowadays, for brand new landed properties, it's getting very heated up in the market in terms of popularity partly because with the pandemic globally sometimes construction cost of materials has increased the prolonged period to construct and thus a lot of people rather than rebuilding themselves they're buying straight on from reputable developers that specializes in building new built landed properties and i think abn has a lot of portfolios on their table with a lot of past successful completed projects and they are one of the lender developers that focuses a lot not just on the quality but on the design of the house they want to make sure that every different properties that they build there's actually a brand name to it and later i'll share with you what is the brand name for this so there's a theme to the house there is an art sense to every house there's a reason for building it this way and there's also a lot of functionality built in so these are the two plots as you can see proposed new erection of two units of two-story envelope control detached dwelling house with attic so it's by mark 12 architect they're currently in the construction phase all right so as you head up this will be travel was Crescent. I will head out and show you the Bukit Timah road that we came from so you can roughly judge how long is the drive back home. So of course if you have kids that are school going, they can take a short walk outside to the main road to hit the MRT station. If not, daddy mommy can drive them outward. Living in a landed property, the best thing is you are buying not just the land, you're also buying the structure, you're buying the building and the entire land and structure belongs to you and you alone. So let's head out and we'll head back to office after that. All right. 
Alright, so now we're back in our PLB studio. Hope that you had a fun trip with us just now on a very short recce to the exact site. Later, I'm going to bring Beatrice, who is going to share more about some of the design elements and of course some of the key themes that the designer plus the architect have put into this home. So as mentioned, this is located at Marine Road. These are going to be two detached homes that are brand new. Stipulated date to be completed will be end of 2021. Of course, if it were to be earlier, there's a bonus for you if you were to buy this right now. In terms of purchase mode is that if you like what you see right now on site plus the design plans, you can actually put down a 5% booking fee with the developer. The rest of the payment will be as per normal upon TOP. So we're going to break down for you some of the key elements of these two plots of land as well as the design and in terms of configuration how will these two differ from one another because these are going to be two homes side by side but at the same time they are different in terms of layout in terms of some of the specifications and these two homes here have a theme to its name and it's called champs de la it's being named after one of the most famous avenue in Paris I'm going to let Beatrice bring you to that portion so right here we'll talk about some of the technical detail. So Marine Road is part of the Bukit Tima Landed Enclave. It's located at District 11. And of course, if you buy something that is brand new, it's very important to look at what are some of the elements of the home that are future-proof so that the moment you buy it for the next 10, 15, 20 years, you don't have to worry about configuration issues the moment you want to exit from the landed home itself. Because your future buyers are going to look at these aspects as well. So for example, the lift element is extremely important. Sometimes when buying a slightly older home, let's say 20 to 30 years, it's very hard to put in the lift even though if you are willing to go through an A and A. The reason is because if there were no lift provisions that were being stipulated in the first place by the architect, in terms of putting a lift later on, 20 or 30 years later, it's going to be very difficult even if you are willing to go through that. Cost will be another issue because not only do you have to come up with extra cost for A and A, you also have to factor in the permit costing when you apply to BCA as well. Now these two homes comes with lifts for A, B and Holdings which is the the developer that has developed these two properties they have an extensive portfolio under their arm so very experienced builders i would say and they love to put in different designs for every different home that they rebuild for the consumers the season that they're going in right now is that the living room on level one they're going for the four meters kind of ceiling height so the moment you enter you're going to enjoy this very wide span kind of feel that you get for a living and dining and they're also into open kitchen kind of concept so these two houses there's going to be like a huge island right in the middle of the kitchen and the kitchen technically wraps around the entire island great finishings great appliances in terms of branding we'll hit on that later so maybe let me bring out the floor plan for plot number one which is the one that is at 4425 square feet so in terms of a layout plan for plot one you're gonna have a pool on the left hand side and then the moment you head down to marine road you can turn left straight you can park three cars of course detached status means that on the left and right side you have a nice backyard at the back as well what i heard is that they're going to put nice beautiful trees at the side walls and that's going to be a couple of meters high so that adds on a lot of privacy for your home as well there are two key distinctions for plot one and two plot one you have the more conventional kind of layout where you get your living dining and kitchen plot two you have a flip around kind of layout whereby your kitchen actually faces towards the front pot that's a more English version kind of layout whereby the kitchen is located at the front followed by the dining and the living room is parked at the back of the house for added privacy so it really depends what kind of living room dining layout do you like some people love to have their living right at the tail end of the house itself it's because of privacy and tasks the developer has done the flip side model for both different houses to cater to different preferences and needs as well now on level one you're gonna get your home shelter which will be allocated as your utility room and your storeroom you get a dedicated helpers room with nice ventilation windows and it's an ensuite with a WC as well in the helper's room. The kitchen size is huge because not only do you have a center console as your key island, you also have nice wrap around kitchen cabinetry around the entire kitchen island space as well. And on top of that, sometimes after parking three cars, some detached homes, because of the fact that they want to park in more cars, they are not able to have a garden space right at the front of the house. But this is a little bit different because not only do you have space for three cars, 
there's still a portion for you to do gardening. There's a green patch right there for you to have a little bit of lawn space so your kids can run around at that portion and play around the house. If we were to look at plot number two, what is this thing? Is the kitchen it will be a more regular shaped kitchen and the island is actually not at the center of the kitchen, it's towards the side of the kitchen. Now in terms of staircase placement and lift, these are all done perfectly right at the side wall of the house. And powder room is definitely a must because that's what your guests will usually use when they come to visit you. Alright, let's have a look at level two. So level two gives you three bedrooms. One of them is a huge master room with ensuite. The other two are ensuite common bedrooms. In totality, there are five bedrooms. Two of the other bedrooms will be located at the attic level and that form bedroom number four and five. So total five bedrooms all are ensuite and it's very important to buy from developers that has a great track record. Having built a number of homes, they will be able to collect a lot of feedbacks from buyers on the ground because as time goes by, preferences change. So for example, like last time in 20, 30 years back, the season was that it was very popular for split level living and dining. Of course now, the season is that everybody's going for one flat kind of floor elevation. Not as many people will prefer to have the split level kind of version already. So all these different architecture features are changing together with buyers' preferences and tastes over time. So buying a brand new home, the best thing is that these are all being factored in through experience and this is something that you get when you get a brand new home. Now, if you were to look at the master room in detail, both master rooms definitely have a long bath. I like the bedroom that's facing towards the back because not only do you have an additional balcony just for that bedroom number three, it's also a larger room compared to bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is, is located in the middle of the windows are towards the side wall. And if you head on to the attic level, these two rooms are huge, especially bedroom number four that's facing towards the front. These are huge rooms. And let's have a little bit of attention on plot number two because plot number two gives you that entertainment room at the basement level. The difference is that the home shelter is also located at the basement floor. So the lift serves all the way from basement all the way to the attic level. Bear in mind that can also be an additional room for your study zone, for your work and home zone or your home office as well. So they have this accessories list and they're using brands from Grohe, Miller, Franco for, I think Franco is usually used for the sink, using Bravat branding for some of the materials and Gerberit and all these are top German and European brands that are being used for the house itself. So buying a brand new home also allows you to see what are the developers throwing in for some of the kitchen appliances plus bathroom sanitary fittings and fixtures. So all these are also brand new. The key beauty is that you save time. If you have watched a lot of our landed series, we talk about some of the key differences on three different types of landed properties. The first type which is the oldish land, usually single level or just two levels, probably built about 40, 50 years back and you have to tear down and rebuild to your own taste. And of course, you have to spend about two years to rebuild nowadays. The center type will be properties that are probably about 20 or 30 years. You can still do renovation, you can still do e and a to spruce it up but you might not be able to get the full specs of a brand new home. So the third type will be buying the opportunity cost that you will or would have incurred if you were to do a and a or rebuild and that's buying something that's off the market from developers that are into the business of buying older land to rebuild and sell it off to the residential market. So it really depends on what kind of preference in terms of time and money that you are on and that will work differently for different people. But most importantly, about the location as well. Location is of course one key thing that everybody looks at and not just the land size, not just the build up and not just the design. So before I talk about schools and location, why don't I put you to Beatrice first so that she can share with you a little bit about the inspiration behind the design of these two detached houses. All right, so Melvin just talked about the project specifics, building layout, and now I'm here to share a little bit more about the architecture and the design of this really special project. So the Champs-Élysées Marin, as you can tell from the name, the developers were inspired by the really famous landmark in Paris, France, touted as one of the most beautiful avenues in the world, the Champs-Élysées. So it's recently slated to undergo a major overhaul of 305 million to transform the Champs-Élysées into a green space and an extraordinary garden. So from the name itself, you know that Champs-Élysées Marin is going to be a really ultra luxurious build. And taking a look at the facade, both feature this really special glass brick facade. The glass bricks look exactly like this one that you see here. So they're really solid, really heavy. These glass bricks are really special. The developers ABN Holdings, together with Mark 12 Architects, they worked with Poesia Glass, which are Venice glass makers. 
And actually, this concept of glass bricks originated back in 2016 when a Dutch architecture firm by the name of MVRDV, they reimagined this townhouse in Amsterdam called Crystal Houses. And they took this townhouse and they used glass bricks exactly like these ones to completely transform the facade of this very historical and traditional townhouse. This iconic crystal houses, they used to house uh, really big brand names like Chanel. Most recently, Hermes Amsterdam is now the tenant of crystal houses. So the developer AVN, they're really inspired by this glass brick facade that you see at Hermes Amsterdam. And they decided to push the boundaries of what's been done in a landed new build in Singapore. So we think that this is really going to be a game changer. It's so beautiful. It creates a sense of transparency and lightness and at the same time an air of sophistication and really <laughs> it's heavy. So the glass bricks are going to be used along the entire facade of both bungalows and they're going to be used in such a way where not only to create a sense of transparency and lightness to both homes but they're going to be interlaced in such a way where they're going to allow airflow into your home so it's going to create privacy it's also going to create this sense of blending in to the surroundings but also visually it's going to be really striking and really beautiful so I'm going to put this down because it's really heavy and Another thing is these bricks are actually cast from solid glass and they're going to be held in place with this transparent high strength glue and in a lot of ways the construction is actually going to be a lot stronger and a lot sturdier than your regular concrete or red brick construction and this was proven through really rigorous testing so this is going to be really safe. So this is going to be the future of glass construction. Instead of your run-of-the-mill flat glass surfaces or flat frontages made of glass, this is a really ingenious way to utilise glass. And also, if you're into sustainability, you'll be really happy to know that one of the main advantages of this material is that it's completely recyclable. And during the installation, imperfect bricks can actually be melted down and remoulded during the process. And in fact, in the future, should you decide to make any changes, the entire facade could actually be reformed in the future. So apart from this being visually really beautiful and striking, it's going to be sustainable as well. So we can't wait to see how this is going to look and how it's going to turn out structurally. We think it's going to look beautiful and really special and fresh when the buildings are going to be ready in the third quarter of this year. My name is Beatrice, Property Lim Brothers. Can't wait to show you the physical place. Till then, take care. Alright, so back to schools and Marine Road is right in between Botanic Gardens MRT Station and Stevens Road MRT Station. Of course, you're about 900 meters away from each MRT station. You do have to take a short drive outwards, but being in the landed enclave then gives you the kind of serenity and quietness that you will want. As we drive by just now, we do see a lot of people jogging in the morning because it's just so serene. And of course, you can jog around your, your entire Bukit Timah landed neighborhood. So some of the schools that are within two kilometers range that would be SCGS and St. Margaret Secondary, you also have ACS, Barker, you also have RGS Secondary and Catholic JC plus Hua Chong Institution and NJC are all within the two kilometers radius from Marine Road. And I think what we're going to do is that when the home is going to be completed towards the third and fourth quarter of this year, once it's ready in terms of construction phase and ready for us to film the interior, we're going to bring you into the interior to have a look at these two beautiful homes. Alright, so thank you for staying with us for this preview of these two detached homes at Marine Road. We hope that you enjoy this behind the scenes right here at our studio where we can only show the floor plans now and some of the design visualization images. We will show you the actual home tour when it's ready. So thank you and we hope to see you soon on our landed home tours at our channel at Property Lim Brothers. So meantime, take care. So the developer ABN Holdings, uh, they were inspired by the Champs-Élysées. 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 Champs-Élysées.